That's the tool, Velvica, 36 inch, four pound felling axe. This is dead cedar. We'll see how uh, we can get this thing chipping. Massive chips. Razor sharp. It's a massive chip action. Not as heavy as my six pounder. This nice thin geometry right here. Oof. Really good. Size chips. Handle is really, really comfortable. No gloves needed. Excellent.
Rolling. So far, so good. Council Tool Velvicot. This is just a freaking awesome tool. It's actually held its edge very, very good. I highly recommend the uh, 5160. I've used the Council Tool stuff in the 1060, as well as the Forest Service Edition, uh, Boys Axe in the 4140. And I was getting some rolling on the edge, even though I wasn't hitting the ground or anything like that. I mean, just destroying the wood. Massive chips. So yeah, the edge holding is definitely not hype. This thing definitely holds an edge better than the uh, other axes that I've actually used. Uh, maybe a vintage axe comes close, but the problem with vintage axes is a lot of them have been worn down pretty bad. I bought a jersey. I like that thing a lot, but it does seem like it's on its last leg, even though I refurbished it. Uh, this axe, this is awesome. Uh, the performance is amazing. This long Dayton pattern, uh, this long bit right here, how thin they have that cutting edge right there. I'm in heaven. This is definitely uh, super awesome. Uh, one lame thing that uh, I've noticed is they don't ship them anymore with the leather sheath. I've looked in my box. I did not have a leather sheath on mine. All I have was a stupid cardboard sleeve right here, which is uh, super lame. I'm definitely going to have to either make a sheath for this bad boy or probably just go ahead and buy one. You know, I, I guess I wasn't really a fan of the council tool uh, axe mask anyways that have like a belt buckle right here, which is pretty uh, kind of lame in my opinion, but I would totally have wanted the leather sheath, especially uh, for $180 uh, for this axe right here. But yeah, the handle is incredibly comfortable. No blisters in my hands, that linseed oil, the uh, nice sanded finish on here is probably about 600, 600 grit finish here on the handle sandpaper it came factory like that with the white linseed oil and this nice finish on here I mean hands are just feeling so comfortable using this thing yeah this is definitely an awesome tool for sure all right so that's the felling axe we're gonna have to do some more stuff with this thing in the future this is by far got to be my favorite axe uh, if I could do it all over again with all the axes that I've uh, collected and used I would just buy this one right away. Uh, make sure that you do know what you're doing with this thing though. It would definitely go to waste if you didn't have any uh, axemanship. Uh, if your axemanship is pretty good, you're definitely going to get a huge performance benefit from this thing. Uh, if you're learning how to use an axe, you're probably not going to get any benefit from this tool. You're just going to complain about it chipping because if you hit the ground, any sharp edge, it's definitely going to get chipped out or dinged up. Alright, just some close-ups of this awesome tool. You can see right here, we're definitely getting a patina just from the wood that you cut. That's what these dark spots are right here. They're just a natural patina that forms when you cut through wood. Uh, this is a working tool first. I believe on the council tool site, they say that we make tools for the art of working. And that is totally true. Uh, you guys probably saw earlier my first impression. I was whining about the finish on here not being so hot. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares if the axe performs this good? Uh, this is truly an impressive tool. Uh, definitely got my money's worth out of this thing. If you're a collector, uh, you're probably not going to be as uh, impressed with this tool. You probably want to go with an Autine, to be honest with you. Uh, if you're a guy that wants a tool that's going to perform top notch with maybe a small hit to the finish, oh my god, this is definitely the way to go. And best of all, you are supporting the last high quality USA made axes. There was a time in this country when the US was the innovator when it came to axes. Uh, American pattern axes were the best in the world. And unfortunately, that has definitely slipped away since the time of the chainsaw has come and nobody really needs an axe anymore to uh, get through their daily chores. So the Swedes definitely dominate the uh, axe market currently with their boutique axes but the velvet cut looks like it's nothing to scoff at and it's definitely a high quality working tool so definitely recommend the felling axe four pound Dayton pattern velvet cut jeez uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get you guys some more footage on this whether you want to or not because this thing is so sweet 
and it's such a joy to use. I mean, look how thin that bit is right there. It's just awesome. You can see how well hung that is as well. Oh, just breathtaking. Love it.